Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today we continue chapter 6, uh, Light and Optic, on topic 6 by 1, Refraction of Light Part 2. Before that, do subscribe so that you won't miss a new update from me. Okay, now let's get started. In my previous video, part 1, we have discussed about when light travel or pass through different density of medium, the light ray will bend due to change in the velocity of light. So in this situation, we have two diagrams here. The first diagram shows light ray travel from water to perspective. So I think you know that the density of perspective is higher than water. In the second diagram, we have water to glass, so glass is denser than water. So this one is stated by this value. What is this value denoted by N? Later we will discuss this one. Okay, look at the first diagram here. Angle of incidence for both diagrams are same, 50 degrees. So in the first diagram, when travel from water to perspective, the light ray bends towards normal at angle 42.8 degrees because it travels from less dense to denser. And this broken line represents the original path of light ray if no refraction occurs. And the angle between the original path and the refracted ray here is theta, also known as angle of deviation. For the second diagram, light travel from water to glass, same thing, eh? less, less dense to denser. So the light ray will bend towards normal, but at smaller angle, 37.9 degrees. So you can see the angle of deviation here is marked as alpha. Okay, So angle of deviation is the angle that measured between the original path eh, of ray without refraction and the refracted ray direction okay so as you can see from here the value of alpha is greater than theta so if the angle of deviation is greater meaning the medium bends the light more so we can discuss this one in form of uh, by comparing uh, the density of the medium so look at the diagram here. We have three medium, water, perspective, and glass. So if we compare the density, we have density of glass is greater than density of perspective, greater than density of water. As we discussed earlier, speed of light decreases when density of medium increases. So or we can say that light bends more in denser medium. That's the reason why you can see in glass, the angle R is smaller than in perspective okay so meaning in glass light ray bends more compared to perspective so the ability of the medium to bend the light is known as refractive index or we denote as symbol small n okay so now next we want to discuss what is the meaning of refractive index okay let's say we have two situation here Light ray travel from air to perspective. Second, light ray travel from air to glass. For the density of air, density of air is the lowest one, which is equal to density of uh, light ray in uh, vacuum, uh, 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. So this one, we put refractive index uh, of air is NO. And then for first pack, we mark as N1 and the angle of refraction as theta 1. In the second diagram, for air, we put as NO. For the second medium, glass, the angle of refraction is theta 2. Now we want to use Snell's law. According to Snell's law, the ratio of sine I over sine R is equal to constant. Then we can get, if you want to determine refractive index of this medium, perspect, what you do, you just put N1 equals to sine theta, which is angle in, R, in air, sine theta, 
divide by sine theta 1. Okay, and then for N2 is equals to sine theta, which is angle in air, divide by sine theta 2. So we have two equations here, 1 and 2. Now I want to uh, relate between N1 and N2. So what I do is take equation 2, divide by equation 1. So I get N2 over N1 equals to sine theta 1 divide by sine theta 2. Okay, or we can just rearrange. So we get N1, N1 sine theta 1 equals to N2 sine theta 2. Actually, this expression also represents Snell's law. So this one, I show you how we get this equation for those who cannot... Uh, you cannot uh, get uh, how to derive the equation okay so we are going to use this uh, equation to solve calculation problem later okay now how can that formula coming or produce a snare's law so you look at this diagram again let's say the medium one is medium air here so when medium air n equals to one so, if we use the same formula again, when N1 equals to 1, here we substitute 1, thus we get N2 equals to sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. Okay, all we get from here, sine theta 1, theta 1 is angle in air, divided by sine theta 2, which is angle in medium. So that's why we get the same formula N equals sine I divided by sine R. Okay, so you can use both of the formula depends on the uh, question given. Okay, now we want to discuss further about refractive index. Just now we have discussed that the refractive index is the bending ability of the medium. The denser the medium, the more the light ray will be bent. Okay, so refractive index N determines the degree to which light bends when traveling from vacuum to a medium or air to the medium. So also we can write down refractive index is the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to speed of light in medium. So we have another formula. So N equals to speed of light in vacuum divided by speed of light in medium. So N equals to C divided by P where C is speed of light in vacuum, 3 times 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now, introduce to you two formula to, for you to calculate refractive index N. How we relate density to refractive index? As we know that denser medium will bend the light more, meaning the ability to bend the light is more. Or we can say refractive index is larger. So you look at here the table vacuum and air refractive index n is equals to 1. So you can see olive oil refractive index is 1.46, perspex 1.50, glass 1.52, glass flint 1.66, diamond the denser one 2.42. Okay. So meaning from here we can see uh, how the speed uh, will change when travel pass through the medium stated here. So we can relate between density and refractive index. The higher the density of medium, the higher the refractive index of the medium. The higher the refractive index the medium, the lower the velocity of light in the medium, meaning the higher the refractive index of the medium, the larger the angle of deviation or the light bends more in denser medium. No, you don't need to memorize all the value. Eh? If there is a calculation problem, all the values will be given. Okay, now let's look at another situation. Okay, on refraction. So fish appears nearer the water surface. You can see the person observe a fish near to the surface. Okay, but actually what he saw is not the real fish that one we call it the image because of our line of vision is straight line so we cannot observe which is a bends huh? the light that bends here so we observe along the line of vision that one is the image of the fish 
so the depth of the image is apparent depth so i think it's this one is marked wrongly here yeah? so it should be small h here and this one is capital h so this is the image so image is apparent depth for the uh, actual actual depth this one is the capital H. So we have this formula, refractive index N can be calculated by using the value is real depth divided by apparent depth. Okay, so you must uh, make sure you don't uh, get confused with this one because this one is labeled wrongly. Yeah? So this one is small h, this one is capital H. So we have the formula for refractive index, real depth divided by apparent depth. Now look at the problem solving because we have discussed a few formula. Eh? Okay, let's look at example 1. Figure 6.14 shows light ray traveling from air into a plastic block at angle 60. Okay, refractive index of plastic is 1.49. Calculate A, angle of refraction. So now from air to plastic, so we can use the formula from the SNES law, N equals to sine I over sine R. Here, sine R equals to sine I over N. So, here I is angle in air, so we take as 60. N is 1.49. So, you just use the calculator to calculate the value of angle. So, we have R equals to 35.54 degrees. Second, you want to find speed of light in plastic. So, use formula N equals to C over V. As we know that C is speed of light in vacuum or air, which is 3 times 10 power 8. Then you substitute, you get a speed in the uh, plastic is 2.01 times 10 power 8 meters second negative 1. So it should be lower than 3 times 10 to the power 8. Because the value of 3 times 10 to the power 8 is the highest value of speed. Okay. Example 2, when coin inside a beaker containing solution is observed, image of coin is seen at the height equals to 2 over 7 of the depth of solution. What, what is refractive index of the solution? Okay, so we want to find refractive index. So we, might, we must find what is real depth, what is apparent depth. So given a small h, eh? So yeah, given is the height eh, of the image from the bottom part of the beaker is 2 over 7 h. But we don't want to use this one. We are going to use is the real depth and apparent depth. So the total height here is h, capital H. So this one will be the real depth. The apparent depth is measured from the surface of water to the image. So small h, eh? we have uh, actual depth minus height 2 over 7 h so we get apparent depth now we substitute into the formula so the h can be cancelled thus we get 7 over 5 then n equals 1.4 that one is refractive index of the solution used in figure 6.15 okay now let's discuss formative practice 6.1 you can try as exercise first then you can check the answer Okay, number one, figure 6.16 shows the path of light which travel from medium 1 to medium 2. Okay, so the angle I equals to 75, angle R is 55 here. A, write an equation to relate light that travel through, vacuum, through the medium. So we have medium 1 and medium 2. That's why we use this formula. N2 over N1 equals to sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. Okay, B part, uh, determine refractive index, huh? For medium 2, if the speed of light in medium 1 is 3 times 10 power 8. So use N1 equals to C uh, over V. But now we discuss about speed of light in medium 1 and medium 2. So they have uh, same, uh, same speed of light. So thus we have 3 times 10 power 8 divided by 3 times 10 power 8. Thus equals to 1. Okay, Because given speed of light in medium is 1. Okay, uh, is uh, medium 1 is 3 times 10 power 8. Okay, so you want to find for medium 2. So air to glass. Okay, so for N2, uh, N2 over N1 equals to sine theta 1 divided by sine theta 2. 
So we substitute uh, the value of n1. So n1 equals to 1. Thus we have n2 equals to 1 by 1 8. So you can use calculator to calculate this. So part C, what is speed of light in medium 2? Then we use n equals to C over V. So V equals to C over N. C is 3 times 10 power 8. N we have calculated here is 1.18. Thus, we get V equals to 2.54 times 10 power 8 meter per second. Okay. So, you can uh, you can try first huh, to answer question number 1. Then only you can check the answer. Okay. Question number 2. Figure 6.17 shows a tank filled with oil to height 3 meter. Then, oil has refractive index of 1.38. What is apparent depth of tank as seen by observer from above the tank? So, um... Same thing, we are using the same formula. N equals to real depth divided by apparent depth. So apparent depth equals to real depth divided by N. So the real depth here is 3 meter. Meaning the total height of oil here. Okay, divide by 1.38. This is the refractive index of oil. Thus we get 2.54 meter. So this is the image eh? Of the depth of the tank meaning the bottom part can be seen a bit closer to the surface okay. okay now effects of refraction also can be observed in our everyday lives for example why during dusk and dawn the size of the Sun is bigger as compared to noon I mean at noon the the Sun is is uh, is light exactly above our head Okay, now this one can be explained by using concept of refraction of light. As you can see here, when the sun is exactly above our head, when you look up, okay, the light ray that gets into your eyes is along the normal line, meaning there will be no refraction. So what you observe, the size is smaller because the sun is very far from earth. Okay. During a uh, dusk or, da or dawn, eh? this one, dusk or dawn, so you can see the light ray will be refracted uh, according to the density of the layers of air that produced here. Okay, so this one is dawn and dusk. So due to the refraction, it will cause the size of the sun observed is much bigger than the original size. Okay. And this one, like twinkling of stars, does the does the star actually twinkle or it just stay at rest? This one also can be explained by concept of refraction. So light also travel from uh, rarer to denser media or less dense to denser. So this one will cause the light ray to bend towards normal. Okay, so at night, there is also convection current. So the convection current and at the same time, refraction will cause the position of the of the, the, the star to shift or move. Right? So what you observe actually uh, this the movement of the star is due to refraction and convection current. So it looks like it's twinkling. Actually, it's stay at rest. Okay. Now this one is phenomena of refraction of light. So I think that's all for this part. So you can search more on the internet to understand better all the phenomena uh, that are shown here. So don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, for more videos on this topic. Okay. Bye.